Hey everyone, this is Wei and uh, thanks for checking this out. Now this video is going to be all about drawing the eye. Now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, talk about some of the frameworks of the eye, like some of the general lines for the eye. And then from there I'm going to start shading it because in order to draw a nice eye you really need to shade it to show the form. Now the eye area has a lot of complicated forms but with some general understanding of how it works uh, and some practice you're going to be able to draw your own eye without any kind of reference. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so to draw an eye, I'm just kind of rough in a circle and this is going to be um, the whole eyeball. And then if you take the half, the middle point and you take halfway right here and you do another circle, that's going to give you the iris. And then of course you will have the pupil in here. So that's just, you know, your regular eyeball. So to draw the lids around it, um, you can start off from the corner, slightly inside. Okay, so that's going to give you... Um, now this is going to be the nose right here, so I'm going this way. So from here, this is the corner of the eye. This is what they call the uh, corungula. This is this little, little patch of uh, flesh here. So if you draw the lid, it goes straight up, and it's going to end right around here. Okay. And then that will give you the, the eyeball. Now let me talk about um, this lid shape here, which is uh, pretty important. Now, if you look at the eye, um, you know, some people actually do like an almond shape, right? So like this is the corner of the eye, and then here you have the eyeball. But our, our lid shape is actually very distinct uh, from the top and the bottom. It's not an almond shape. So if you look at the almond shape, it's even, right? You have the top point here, and you have the top point here. So if you draw a line, it would actually be like this, right? Like this is the the peak of the, the curve. For the eye, the peak of the curve on the top is actually somewhere around here and then for the bottom it's actually somewhere around here. So the line would actually be like this. So to illustrate this, here's the corner of the eye. This would go up here, it's going to meet up here and then it's going to slant down okay, to this corner and then here it's going to go in a little bit and it's going to be widest down here. So this is the actual shape of the eye, um, not an almond shape. So to exaggerate this, um, it would actually be something like, if I were to exaggerate the shape, it would actually be like this. Okay. This point, this point, th those two are the highest points. So that's the, uh, the shape for the upper and, and lower lids. Alright, so back to this, um, I'm going to shade it in now, so now you have the upper lid, upper lid, and the lower lid. Now, there's a pretty easy way to shade the, uh, the eyeball. So from here, um, just make like a little circle right here, that's going to be your highlight because, you know, the your eyeball pretty much reflects the environment. So of course the pupil is going to be dark, right? So I'm just going to shade that completely black. And then surrounding it, I'm just going to shade it like this. And the top is always going to be uh, a little bit darker just because you know, you're catching more the, the, the upper eyelid. So you can shade it like that and then have like a little gradation and that will give you uh, actually a pretty you know, decent looking eyeball. Now from here, uh, the upper lid is a little bit um, wider and a little bit deeper, which it, it, like it overhangs a little bit more. So you can see a little bit more shadow. So, in general, when you're drawing an eye, just draw the upper lid a little bit thicker. Just go ahead and shade it in a little bit like that. That will look a little bit, you know, give your eyeball a lot more, you know, it will look a lot more natural. Because, you know, the, the upper lid's a lot heavier. Alright, let me draw the eye again, and this time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start shading it so you can see the, uh, the forms a little bit better. So, very quickly, here's the eyeball, okay, the iris, and then the pupil. And then we're going to draw the corner of the eye and the shape. Remember, the peak is up here. I'm going to come down and this is going to curve in. And this is going to go up like that. So we're going to shade it. Let's say, let's put the highlight in here. Make this dark. A little bit of gradation coming down. And then the upper eyelid. Let's make it a little bit darker. So it overhangs a little bit. Okay, so that's a pretty rough eyeball. 
Um, now for the eyelid, okay, there's going to be an eyelid coming down here. It's usually a crease right here. Now we're going to do the eyebrow. Now from the eyebrow, usually where does it start? Um, you can take the, take the corner of the eye and just kind of go up. And you can generally just start it right around here. Okay, and then now where is the peak, right? For this, you know, you can do it at that angle too, from this angle, from this corner, and that'll give you the, the peak on the on the eyebrow, and it'll come back down. All right, and then here's the corner of the eye, and, okay. So usually there's like a little, um, if you run your finger on, on the corner of the eye, this, uh, this actually goes in, so you should, you know, you can shade it like this. Okay, so here's the nose. All right, here's the nose. Now for the eyelid, just just uh, remember that you know the skin around here is going over the eyeball, right? So there's always a bulge right here. That's why you have this lower lower lid area, and there's like a slight bulge to it because it's still kind of your eyeball is right right behind it, and it kind of flans out, you know, as uh, as you're meeting up with the with the, with, the, with, the, with the cheeks, and then from here. Um, this part actually sinks in. This is the nose area. That's, that's the deepest part right here. So this is usually dark. Okay. And it kind of comes over like this. And that will be your nose down here. Now this part right here is pretty tricky because this is usually white right here because it actually flans back out. So it catches more light. And then in here is actually like a little bulge right here. And this sinks down a little bit, right around there. So just kind of imagine um, this whole area, just like a, just a slab of skin, you know, drooping right over your eye right here. That's why I'm shading it like that, just to illustrate it. Because because usually it's just it's not a line; it's actually a little fold, you know. Like if you're who. Um, see that from the side, you know, it would be kind of like this and like that, right? It kind of, kind of tucks in, that's why you get this little, so that's what you're getting here. So there's the corner of the eye, and then right here you can make it a little bit darker, because again it overhangs a little bit more the upper lid. There's the nose, and there's the cheek area. So that would be your, you know, your general shading for, for the eye and the eye socket area. And then for the pupil, I mean the iris, is usually a little bit darker on the edge. Okay. And then we can accentuate that a little bit, make it a little bit darker. And if you like, you can always put some highlight on the bottom too if you like. But in general, that's how you'll be shading in the eyeball. And then here on the bottom, um, you can put like a little line right here because usually the uh, with a hair start it actually peels open a little bit, right? So you can see a little bit inside the, the skin. So you can make, you know, if you I want to add in more detail, you can do things like that. And of course the uh, the top part too, you can add a little bit of hair, or you can just make it dark, you know, that works too. So this would be your general shading for an eye from the front. Alright, so let's draw from the side. Let's see, we have the eyeball right around here. And then, let's see, the, the iris is right around there. Now, from the corner of the eye, okay, so this is, again, the upper lid is going to overhang this, the iris more. Let's say this is all black, right? This is going to come out. It's gonna come up, and then here's your little crease, and then the lower lid. It's gonna come out, but not as much. It's gonna come down like this. So here's the eyebrow. Come like this, and here's your nose. Okay. So notice this angle from the upper lid. Um, you know, it goes out a little bit further, so it's almost a slant like this. Okay. So then we just shade it, a bit dark here. There's the eye. And there's the lower lid. So
So just from the side, you know, just just remember this kind of shape. Just remember the the uh, the upper lid comes out more, and then you can shade it the top part a little bit darker. But from the side, it's actually pretty straightforward. So that would be the eye from the side. All right, let me draw one more from a slightly three-quarter view, and I'm gonna try to exaggerate the features a little bit so that I can see the shapes a little bit better because the eyes is very complicated. Okay, so here's pupil. Okay, from here, I'm gonna draw the corner. It's gonna come out like this. Now this is gonna be a slight three-quarter view, so this is gonna be slightly shorter here. It's gonna come straight down. Then this is gonna open up, widen this this corner again. See that the peaks are here and here. Okay, then I'm gonna draw the highlight right around here. Just give me some placement. I'm gonna shade this part. Shade the pupil. I'm gonna shade up. Give a little gradation. Slightly darker on the sides, and then I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. I'm actually shading it a little bit early. Um, I mean, you know, you can join the rest of the eye first, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then the uh, the, the folds on the lid that come in like this, and let's, let's get the placement for the eyebrow. Let's say I'm gonna do this. Come out here, peak, come back down. Okay, and then here's the little bulge right on the side corner. So let's just shade it in. Now this is gonna be, see the nose is gonna be right around here. So this is gonna be dark. Now again, this is there's gonna be a bulge here. This is really tricky. I think you should, you know, when, when you draw in an eye, just just try to look at. You know, you get a mirror and, and look at your own eye, or just get some reference, because this is a very complicated area to draw. And then this kind of fans out a little bit, and then this is the deepest part, so it's dark. And then here's the lower lid. So it's gonna cut the eye. Now let's draw the, now this part should be darker because it sinks in more. And this part actually sinks in too. That's, that's what I mean, it's just a very complicated shape. Here you have eyebrow, let's make this a little bit darker so we can see it. So this comes in and this sinks in like this. This goes in. So here's the little bulge. Here's the darkest part of the the nose, the bridge, and again, this 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 area right here catches more light, so you generally leave that a little bit darker. And here's the corungula the corner. Let's just shade this in a little bit darker, and can I show you how this is a little bit darker, just to make make it feel like you know this part is really bulging onto the on over the eye, just drooping into it. And usually there might be a little bit more bulge right here, you know, it's just like little bags under the eye. Okay. So that would be the general shading for the eye. So again, this part right here is the most complicated part, and yeah, definitely look at your own eye and you know get some references to to shade that because with different lighting um, scenarios, it gets really complicated. But in general, that's just what you can do. Okay, so there's your eye. So I hope you found this helpful, and uh, if you did, please do help me share this video. 
So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.